Hello, I'm Perry Romanowski, and this is Hot Topics on Chemist Corner. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you about a topic that has caught my interest uh, this week. Uh, particularly, I'm going to talk to you about the claim that the EU has banned 1,300 plus ingredients, and in the US, the FDA has only banned 11. Let's first talk about why does anyone make this claim? So you see this kind of claim uh, made by NGOs, uh, non-governmental organization, places like the Campaign for Safe Cosmetics, the Environmental Working Group, and, and groups like this, whose sole purpose is, as, as they think, to inform consumers about the dangers in their cosmetic products. This information gets passed on to beauty bloggers who then take up the challenge to uh, to save everybody else, I guess. So the idea that there are 1,300 plus banned ingredients in the EU, uh, the reality is that, in fact, is true. And it is true that the FDA has only banned uh, about 11. There might be a couple more, but it's, but it's certainly a lot fewer. And the implication by that claim is that the products in the EU are obviously safer and the FDA isn't doing its job because it's not banning ingredients that other countries find harmful. Now let me tell you why uh, this claim is just ridiculous fear-mongering and it does not really reflect the reality of the cosmetic industry and the safety of ingredients. So let's first look at that claim. 1,300 uh, ingredients are banned in the US only 11. What you have to do is look at what are those 1,300 ingredients that are banned. Uh, if you look at the list, and I can provide a link to the list in the notes on this, if you look at the list, the ingredients are uh, drug active ingredients, they are a lot of ingredients used in the production of petroleum, um, and there are uh, other residual ingredients which uh, Presumably, the EU uh, thinks cause some harm to, to people, and I have no reason to think that they don't. But what you don't find on that list of banned ingredients are any kind of ingredients that would be used in cosmetic products. That's right. They're banning ingredients that we wouldn't use to formulate cosmetics. So it's really, it's an irrelevant ban because you're just banning something that nobody uses anyway. And in fact, if you look at the products that you can buy in the EU and the products that you can buy in the United States, there's really no big differences between the two. A lot of the regulation uh, suggestions in the United States and those in the EU sort of match up with what industry is doing. And so you might think that, well, the EU has banned all these ingredients, their products must be safer, but indeed there is no evidence, and in fact it's not true, that the products in the EU are safer than the products that you can buy in the United States. Uh, they just aren't. In the United States, it's illegal to sell unsafe cosmetic products, and so you have to be able to prove that your products are safe. And the way that you do that is, you know, you, you, you run safety testing or you use products or ingredients that are found in the INCI dictionary and that have been determined to be safe by the Cosmetic Ingredient Review Board, the CIR. You can go to the CIR website and look up the safety information on almost any ingredient that you're going to find in your cosmetic product. The EU has their own system for ensuring ingredient safety, and that's uh, the SCCS, um, the Scientific uh, Committee on Consumer Safety. Uh, they work the same as the CIR, but they are a government-funded uh, group. But if you look at the results of both groups, the CIR and the SCCS, there really aren't measurable differences between the recommendations that they make for cosmetic products. And so, for that reason, you find a lot of the ingredients, the same ingredients that are used in the United States, are used in the EU, and from that are used around the world. Now, there are some differences with what colorants are approved and what levels of preservatives are approved, but really, 
companies that make products for both the United States and the EU, they just follow the EU rules anyway because they're international and the EU rules are a little more clearly laid out about what you can do. So there you have it. The, there are, in fact, over 1,300 ingredients uh, that are banned from being used uh, in cosmetics in the EU. But in fact, none of those ingredients are used in any cosmetics in the United States. And so it's just a, a superfluous ban, and it's not something that you should be terribly worried about. Now, if you're a formulator, I'd encourage you to go take a look at those ingredients that are banned. And then the next time you hear one of your marketer people ask about it, or you see a claim and a consumer asks you about it, you can point to them. You can show them the ingredients that are banned and the fact that these ingredients aren't used in cosmetics anyway. That's all I have for today. Thanks for listening. I'm Perry Romanowski. And if you have any comments, please leave them below.